You're watching a special screening of Unicorn Academy. going to freak when she finds out you took Mary Lou off the ranch. Just guessing since she said, don't even think about taking Mary Lou off the ranch. Luckily, Mom never has to find out. She's making dinner, and you know lasagna always gets the better of <clears throat> her. It did. I ordered pizza. Which I will bring inside. Hey, Mom. Uh-uh, no, don't hey, Mom me. How many times have I told you you're not allowed to go riding off the ranch? But Mary Lou needed to stretch her legs. I just took her out on the trail. Dad and I used to ride it all the time. Sophia, I'm just trying to keep you safe. I'm a good rider, Mom. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> really? Last week, you rode in a thunderstorm to catch a chicken that got out. The week before, you played tag with a bull. Fair point. <laughs> Why can't you ever do some non-dangerous, typical teenager stuff? You could make some friends, go to the movies, have sleepovers. Friends are overrated. I'm more of a likably rebellious loner with a love of adventure that drives her mom nuts. You've got that right. Oh, and about you sneaking out? Grounded? Yep, I figured. <sighs> Morning, Dad. I got it. Hello? Huh. Better hurry if you want pancakes. Your brother's a flapjack fiend. What's that? I don't know. We are pleased to invite you to attend Nuncio Academy, the world's leading school for promising equestrian riders. A school where I get to ride all day? Oh, it looks amazing. Can I go? Can I have a room? <laughs> what about your school here? Uh, they don't let me bring a horse to class. And it's not like anyone would miss me. But I would miss you. Marco would miss you. The new bedroom would heal the pain. I'll go finish my pancakes. Mom, I know you worry about me, but I just have this feeling that I'm meant to do this. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good idea. Wh what? Seriously? Mom, this is a riding academy. This is my dream. Dad would want me to go. If he were here, he but would- But he's not. <sighs> Our family has lost enough. I don't want you leaving, Sophia.
I hope I didn't get you in trouble yesterday. Mom doesn't get how much we need to run sometimes. <laughs> Remember our rides with Dad? <laughs> he always said it was destined for something extraordinary. <sighs> I just wish I knew what it was. Hmm. Do you ever feel like there has to be more out there? Like there's something inside of you that's bursting to come out? <laughs> oh, you do, huh? I can't believe it's been five years. He'd love that you still wear the necklace he gave you. You were his shining star. <laughs> He'd also get a kick out of you wearing his old shirt, but it's definitely due for a wash. <laughs> when we'd ride together, it felt like I could do anything. Like the whole world was there, in my reach. Sometimes I just want to try and feel that again. He loved you so much, Sophia. He had so many dreams for you. He would tell me you were destined for something extraordinary. extraordinary. <laughs> you remind me so much of him. Do you know your dad also went to a riding academy? Really? Wait, what do you mean also? <laughs> Better get some sleep. We've got a lot of packing to do tomorrow. If you're going off to a new school. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> We're here. There's my ride! Whoa! Your school bus is a boat? Lucky! 
Sophia, we're going to miss you. So call. A lot. I promise. <sighs> now, it's all on you to get into a little trouble while I'm gone. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. I'm so... Huh? <laughs> I've heard of driverless cars, but driverless boats? This academy is fancy. Sophia, you fell asleep, and this is totally just a dream. <laughs> Hello! Ah! Oh, it's no dream. But What a delightfully dreamy day. Sunshine with a crisp breeze. Did you have a pleasant trip? It was great, thank you. But, uh, quick question. Where am I? Who are you? And when did they invent flying fairy-winged boats? Oh, oh my, the talk is ticking. If you would please follow me. Uh, hey! I'm Fernicus! Welcome! Say! Huh? We dwerpens have been assisting the day-to-day -day at the Academy for generations! <laughs> dwerpens? What? Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Look, Fernicus, my brain's about to explode. I thought I was going to a riding academy. You know, horses, a stable. I have the invitation right here. We are pleased to invite you to attend <gasps> Unicorn Academy? Whoa. Come, come! Orientation will begin in a few wiggles and a shake. Uh, so sorry, uh, unicorns? <laughs> no, no way. Oh, I see. You're one of those goof-maloofs who grew up believing that there's no such thing as magic, that unicorns aren't real. Well, be because they're not. <laughs> Next, you'll be telling me that dwerpins don't have two left feet. Wait, do they? Mum's a word about this place. <laughs> but magic is real as you or me, and Unicorn Island is the source of it all. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ooh, I love your shirt. Purple is one of my 19 favorite colors. Uh, I'm Ava. It's so oh. nice to meet you. Um, okay. I'm Sophia. Ooh, I have loved unicorns for literally forever. Can you believe we're actually here? Uh, no, I don't believe any of this. Oh, you're not a legacy. My brothers went here, and when I got my invitation, they secretly told me everything. You must be totally confused and weirded out. <laughs> Just a little. Unicorns? Real unicorns? 
Welcome all to Unicorn Academy. Pinch me! Hmm. It should look a bit more festive on such an important day, don't you agree, Athera? <laughs> I'm Miss Primrose, head teacher at Unicorn Academy. And this is Unicorn Island. All the world's magic comes from here. And unicorns are its protectors, the only creatures mighty enough to keep the island safe from danger. You have all been invited to join a long history of unicorn riders. <laughs> Definitely not the kind of riding academy I expected. Some of you have been chosen for your extraordinary skills and talents. Others follow in the footsteps of a family member who was a unicorn rider before you. All of you have the potential to bond with a unicorn. Now get settled, your journey begins tomorrow. This place is incredible. New students, gather for room assignments. <laughs> the Fate Fairies will select a gemstone that best suits you. Proceed to the corresponding dormitory. <laughs> we're both in Sapphire Dorm! It's fate! I just know we're gonna be besties! <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we're there. Hashtag dream life. Hashtag, wait, is this a dream? Hashtag, help, I'm trapped in a dream. Seriously, are you guys seeing this? We take our oath of secrecy here very seriously, Mr. Carmichael. Right, right, got it. Zip in the lips. Just out of curiosity, was I invited because of my epic dirt bike riding skills or my legendary sense of humor? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been the dirt bikes. Oh, hey! In case you didn't notice, there are like people here. Uh, who is she? That's Valentina. She's like a super legacy. Her relatives were some of the founders of Unicorn Academy. Her aunt is Miss Fury, the magic teacher. Valentina is basically Unicorn Academy royalty and definitely not used to getting called out. <laughs> hmm. Whoa! I could live here. Nice! I hope my room's near the fridge. The energy in this room is amazing! Ugh, how's the energy now? Great! This'll be fun. I need a library! Stat! Whoa! something was up when I got an invitation for a riding academy and I've never been on a horse in my life. I had a hunch this was some sort of elite secret school. I was thinking a scientific government thing, code breaking, rocket building, but unicorns and magic? Mind blown! Phew, glad I'm not the only one. I'm Ava. This is Sophia. I'm Layla. Okay, I better get unpacking, organizing, and, well, let's be honest, reorganizing. Are we roommates? I don't do roommates. Hey, is this my room? No! <laughs> oh, so many books! What's up, dude? I'm Isabel. That's impressive. <laughs> Barely a warm up. What about you, Rumi? You work out? Uh, does speed reading count? Just curious, is this an all the time thing? Woo, nope. Just a couple hours at 5 a.m., but not every day. Uh, great. Huh. Yeah. On the other days, I do K boxing. Huh. Huh. Uh.
comprehensive guide to Unicorn Island. <gasps> Can someone fall in love with a book? Because I'm in love with a book. They decorate our rooms to match our personalities and... <gasps> Whoa. This place is so, so wow. I love, love, love it. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Flowers? Yeah, no, definitely not my room. <laughs> It's perfect. I found my extraordinary. Whichever student is responsible for this will face consequences. <laughs> Island heroes. I'm just reading about some of the villains. So, this place isn't all lollipops and rainbows? Um, no. There are frost goblins, swamp shifters, something called a silver mountain cyclops. Big list here. They come from the island kingdom of Grimoria, home base of something called Grim Magic. Who is that? Raven Zella, Queen of Grimoria. Uh, I know it's not real, but she's giving me the creeps. She almost took over Unicorn Island. <laughs> but a brave unicorn rider defeated her and locked her away in the cell of eternity. And made Grimoria vanish. Definitely not all lollipops and rainbows. for our queen. It's time. Well, well. How lovely. Good morning, students, and welcome to Wonderwood Forest, where the unicorns of this island roam. And today, you will discover if one of those unicorns is destined to be yours. Aha, right on time. If you find the unicorn that is your destined match, the Fate Fairy will glow brighter. <laughs> For those of you who match with a unicorn, 
You'll get your uniforms at the Enchanted Archway this afternoon. For those who don't, becoming a unicorn rider was not your destiny, and you will be sent home. Don't worry, just follow your heart and see if it leads you to a unicorn. But remember, as you search for your unicorn, you must not go beyond the Shimmerstone Wall. Last one to find a unicorn buys lunch. I mean, food here is free, but you're on. Your destiny awaits. Good luck. Come on, let's go. Ooh, I can't wait to meet the unicorns we match with. If we match. Yeah, no pressure or anything. We will find unicorns. We will find unicorns. We will find unicorns. Sense of humor, huh? Hmm? Huh? Yes! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, tiger lilies! <laughs> wow! Be glowing. Please be glowing. <laughs> I'm so, so, so glad to meet you. We'll see you on the other side, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll find my unicorn any minute. <laughs> hmm, fears. I like it. Sophia, you just need a better view. I'm guessing this is the Shimmerstone Wall. Miss Primrose said not to cross it, but this is a unicorn finding emergency. And if I'm gonna be fighting evil, I think I can handle a quick trip out of bounds. need to get to know me. I'm Sophia. Sophia Mendoza. I live on a ranch in Northern California, 
I've got a little brother. I love pizza. And... Oh, uh... <laughs> you like it? My mom says I wear it too much. <laughs> so... We're, we're doing this? <laughs> yes! Horses are my thing, and horses, unicorns, kind of sort of similar. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty confident about all this. And I just stepped in unicorn poop. <laughs> Guess we didn't all find a unicorn. Don't worry, Val. I'm not leaving yet. Yeah! Yeah! Right. Care to explain this, Ms. Mendoza? Huh? A leaf from a tangled twist tree. You were specifically instructed to not cross the Shimmerstone Wall. But I... Breaking rules might be your thing back home, Ms. Mendoza. But we take them seriously at Unicorn Academy, and this is grounds for dismissal. <gasps> no! Head back to your dorm and pack your things. I... I'm sorry. 